Hello awesome people welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to look at how we can print on phone cases like this it's nice right okay so printing on phone cases can be done through a few methods depending on the materials and equipment you have access to here are a few common methods one is a heat transfer two direct printing three vinyl cutting four screen printing each of these methods require different equipment and materials, so it's important to do your research and choose the method that works best for your needs and budget. It is also important to make sure you are following any safety guidelines when using a heat press or other equipment. Sublimation printing is a popular method for printing on phone cases because it produces high quality, long lasting results. Here are a few steps on printing on phone cases using a sublimation and a heat press. Number 1. Design your artwork. Use a graphic design software like Photoshop, Illustrator to create your artwork. Make sure it's the right size and resolution for your phone cover and that's in the correct color mode. Print the design onto a sublimation paper. Use a sublimation printer to print your design onto a sublimation paper. Make sure to use the correct printer settings for the sublimation paper. Prepare the phone cover. Clean the phone cover and peel off the rubber on it. Place the sublimation paper on top of the phone cover. Place the sublimation paper with your design facing down on the phone cover. Secure it in place with a heat resistant tape. Heat press the phone cover. Heat up your heat press to the correct temperature for sublimation print. Usually around 360 to 400 degrees Celsius. Place the phone cover with the sublimation paper facing up onto the heat press and press it for recommended time, usually around 45 to 60 seconds. Remove the sublimation paper. Once the press time is complete, carefully remove the sublimation paper from the phone cover. Allow the phone cover to cool. Let the phone cover to cool for some minutes before handling it. Once the phone cover is cooled, your design should be transferred onto the cover using a sublimation. This method produces vibrant, permanent prints that won't peel or fade over time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more interesting videos like this in the future, make sure you leave me a comment below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep creating and never give up.